Practice problems for chapter 11, looking at the uh, energy in thermal processes. So well, let's take a look at uh, a problem involving energy in thermal processes that uses the specific heat um, to do the calculation. So in this problem what we're looking at is the change in temperature uh, really over a distance or a, uh, a height. We've seen this relationship before where we use potential energy um, from the energy at a height. So we're going to use um, that as part of the setup for this problem. So we've got a waterfall, in this case Niagara Falls, and the water at the top of Niagara Falls has a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. If it falls a distance of 50 meters and all of its potential energy goes to heating the water, Okay, that's that value of Q in our relationship. Calculate the temperature of the water at the bottom of the falls. So in this problem we're going to assume that all of the gravitational potential energy given up by the water is converted into internal energy and goes into raising the temperature of the water. So let's start with the relationship. Let's draw on that change in potential energy over that 50 meters due to gravity. And we're going to set it equal to our relationship that we've seen for determining the energy um, based upon the specific heat and the mass. So with that relationship then, we can say that the energy due to the heat then is equal to the mass times the specific heat times T initial minus T final. Remember that's our setup for potential energy. So let's move things around. Um, we're going to, we want to get that temperature final by itself. Okay, so there I had this backwards. Temperature final minus temperature initial. Okay, so we're going to get these set up so that we have the temperature final by itself. So we continue to move terms around. Q divided by MC when we move that. And then the last step is making sure that we have all of our terms. We're going to move temperature initial to the other side. Now we have temperature final is equal to the initial temperature plus the quotient of the heat energy divided by mass times the specific heat. Okay, And now since we defined at the outset that the change in potential energy due to gravity is our old relationship MGH, we're just going to put that value in for PE MGH divided by MC. Well, in doing this, how convenient, the masses cancel out so we don't have to deal with that. And we're left with a bunch of terms that we already know. We know the gravity acceleration, we know the height, and we know the specific heat, in this case, for the water. So, in moving all these terms around now and combining them, we have our initial temperature of 10 degrees Celsius at the top. And then we have each of our values G, H, and C for the specific heat in joules per kilogram times degrees centigrade. So if we multiply the two terms together in the numerator, divide by the denominator, add 10 degrees Celsius to it, you can see we only get a very small fraction, one-tenth of a degree in Celsius that adds to the heat converted to internal energy as um, the water goes over the falls.